Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. Welcome to our word of the day series where every day we take a look at a new word in American English to help you pronounce it correctly. These words have all been requested by you, our viewers. Thank you so much to those of you who've made a request. And if you haven't seen your word yet, don't worry, it's coming. I just have a long list to catch up with. So I've been working my way through all of your requests. If you have something that can't wait, you can attend our Friday live question and answer classes where I answer your questions about pronunciation live. We also talk about other topics for American accent training, American English pronunciation and intonation. Basically anything to help you improve your overall communication in American English. Today's request was from one of our viewers for the word envelope. And while we're at it, I want to talk about the word envelope as well uh, to look at syllable stress and vowel changes in longer words. So when we have the word envelope, the verb, we have second syllable stress, which means the vel is the long syllable with a clear vowel. That means the E here in envelope has the red tent sound. And this first E is short and unstressed, and it's reduced to this I sound. So it sounds like the word in, and then my stress is on vel with the red tent vowel, and then I end again with an unstressed uh, schwa at the end, envelop, envelop. Um, this isn't maybe as common as the word envelope, but um, envelop means to surround. Um, so for example, um, the uh, suburban sprawl grew up and enveloped the small town. Um, so, and then when we're talking about the word envelope, we have two common ways Americans will pronounce the word envelope, but both of them have the same pattern of first syllable stress. So we have our clear vowel for this first syllable and unstressed vowel for the second E. So it's the reverse of envelope. We have envelope, our red tent vowel, eh, comes at the beginning. So rather than starting with the short reduced in, we have this uh, clear vowel n, and this syllable is longer, envelope. The second e then says the vowel schwa, it sounds like v, and we have secondary stress on this lope syllable, so it has the clear vowel o, envelope. Um, lope is a word as well. Um, so I want long, short, short, envelope. Or uh, the way I typically say envelope is by using the ah vowel on that first clear vowel. So I say envelope rather than envelope. So that just sounds like the ah as in father, on, but the rest of the word stays the same, the lope, long, short, short. So you can choose envelope or envelope, whichever one uh, is easier for you to say. You might also listen around you depending on what region in the country you're in. People may have more of a tendency to say one or the other, but the most important thing is that in envelope you want to stress that first syllable and go light and short on the second two versus envelope you have second syllable stress and light and short on the first and third syllables. Once I can say envelope or envelope by itself, I want to be able to use that in some short phrases. We already did envelope, so let's try some phrase practice for envelope. Um, can you please pass me that envelope? Uh, I need an envelope and a stamp. I hope everyone gets their mail-in vote voting envelopes uh, soon, and make sure you seal the envelope before you send it off. So yes, I have a tendency to use envelope rather than envelope, but both are okay. Thank you so much for that suggestion, and I hope that helps you with the word envelope. And uh, for all of you who've made requests and suggestions, comments, questions in the comments, I really appreciate those. And I love seeing you coming back day after day for our Word of the Day series, as well as attending our Friday live classes. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that, and then you can use the bell to get notified in the app or to find out when we have um, new videos and new classes. I also offer memberships to the channel for a low price. You can get some extra training and classes uh, as, that are saved for members only. Um, you can check that out by clicking the join button on the channel page or on this video and it'll show you some of those perks that are available to our members. 
I'll be back again tomorrow with another Word of the Day class and on Friday with our question and answer class, and I hope to see you there. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound American, you can do it. speechmodification.com. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.